Hi friends. Today we're going to do something really fun. We're going to make our own paint. Does that sound like fun? And first of all, we're going to talk about colors a little bit. Have you looked outside lately? What kind of colors do we see outside? What kind of colors does nature bring us? Let's take a quick nature walk and we'll see what we can find outside. Okay, Miss Phil is outside now. Do you see in the green grass that there's other colors? What colors do you see? Yeah, I see yellow flowers. Let's go down here. Oh, there's my birdhouse. Wow, there's some pretty colors. Look at those flowers. What colors do you see in that flower? Now that's a flower basket. It's not growing in nature, but flowers grow without being put in baskets too. Let's look over here. I see some flowers. What colors do you see? And there's another one. What color do you see there? There's colors everywhere I go. Look here, I've got another two baskets and they have beautiful colors in them. All kinds of colors. What colors do you see? I see yellow, purple, green. Do you see any other colors that I missed? If I look over here, oh, there's a beautiful tree in nature. That is the tree that is in my backyard. Look at those beautiful colors. Is that pink? It's turning pink. And after it's done turning pink, it's gonna turn green. And it was green before it turned pink. It does that. Let's go over here. Oh, I see some more green. Lots of green around us, isn't there? But look on the ground. There is a little thing growing. It's a weed, I think. Maybe not but it has a flower coming out of it. Okay, here's some more. Isn't that beautiful? Some of that is just green. Some of the trees are starting to get flowers on them. Aren't they pretty? We have so many different colors around us. Even those trees down there, can you see them? The, Look like, I'm not sure if they're gonna come back, but what color are they? The bushes there. I think we see brown, don't we? And do we see brown in this tree? But look at this tree. There's a little bit different colors in it, in the bark. So there are all kinds of colors that we can see. What colors do you see in this one? This is a hanging basket, but it's not hanging yet. It has beautiful orange flowers. So, should we go back inside and make our paint? Okay, friends, so I think we're ready to make our paint. And it's gonna be your own paint that you can use. Now this paint comes out pretty thick. It's finger paint. That means we are gonna use our hands to paint with the paint that we make. We don't need a brush. We're gonna use our fingers. Does that sound like fun? Okay. To make your paint, you're going to need flour. You're going to need salt. You're going to need water, which I'm going to get in a minute. And you're going to need food coloring so that we can make our paint different colors. Are you ready? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one cup. This is one cup of salt. So I'm going to take one cup of salt. So I'm going to fill this up until it's all the way up to the one cup. All the salt. Okay. Oh, there's still some more salt that comes out of there and that's good because I didn't get quite to the cup. Shake, 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 get that salt out of there. My salt is getting low. 
Let me get as much as I can out of there. All right, so I have one cup of salt. You're gonna take your cup of salt and what do you think we're gonna do with it? You're right, we're gonna pour it into the bowl. We have a big bowl to do this in. And next thing we need is two cups of hot water. Okay, I have my hot water. I had to make sure it was very hot. Now you probably wanna have an adult get your hot water for you because you want it to be very hot. It doesn't, not boiling, but very hot out of the sink. I'm gonna pour my hot water right into the salt. And that is two cups of hot water. Next thing we need to do is stir, stir, stir. You want to stir and stir and stir until most of the salt dissolves. You know what the word dissolves means? It means that it kind of melts into the water. It goes away. We're going to dissolve the salt. Now there might be a little bit of salt left in there and that's okay. But the salt, as we are using our spoon to stir, a lot of the salt is turning more into a liquid and that's what we want it to do. It's dissolving. Stir, stir, stir. And make sure that you're getting as much of the salt as you can when you're stirring your hot water. Okay, I think mine's ready. This is where the flour comes in. We are going to take one cup of flour. We're going to mix it in to what we've just put in the bowl. So I need to open my flour. Looks like this is a new one, so I'm going to open it up. And how much did I say? I said one cup. So how am I going to know if it's one cup? Well, remember I had my one cup of salt. This is a one cup measuring cup. So if I fill this up, I will have one cup of flour. So let's do that. One cup of flour. One more flour coming out. Very good. And I got it right to the top. So that is one cup of flour. We're going to put that in our water. And we're going to stir and stir and stir and stir. Mix it up good. Use your big spoon. You really have to stir a lot to get that flour to mix in. And as you're stirring the flour into the water, your water is getting thicker. Did you notice that? Make sure water get thicker. Now you might have to, if Miss Phil is using her spoon and kind of pushing down on it to get that all in the water good. And get rid of the big chunks if you can. Stir, stir, stir as best you can. Stir, stir. There, I got a lot of mine. And some of it's going on the side. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna scoop it up. And I'm going to put it back in the water because I want that flour in there. Okay. I think mine looks like it needs a little more water because remember, I mean a little more flour because remember we want to paint with this. So I'm going to stir that a little bit more, but I think I'm going to put a little more flour in. If it seems too watery, add a little bit of flour. If it seems too thin, that's another word for watery, add a little flour. If it seems too thick, what do you think we would add? If it's too thick, we're going to add a little more, what, water to make it thinner. I've got a little chunks in there, but I think I'm good. I'm going to leave that. The next step, I have five different bowls because I'm going to make five different colors. You can make as many colors as you want, but I have five bowls here and I am going to fill my bowls up. There's two, three, hmm, I'm running out of room on my table, four, five. 
So what do you think I'm gonna do next? Yes, I am going to pour a little bit of this in every container or every one of my bowls. Okay. I can't wait to paint with it. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit in each bowl. There's one bowl, two bowls, three bowls, four bowls, and five bowls. And I'm gonna add a little more to this bowl because it didn't get as much. There, I'm all done with my big bowl now and I'm all done with my spoon, so I'm gonna put that over here. Now we get the food coloring. What are we gonna do with food coloring? Let's see, my first color that came out is red. I am going to make red paint. I'm going to drop about maybe six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look how neat that looks. Look how neat that looks when I put it in there. I hope you can see this. I'm gonna move this a little bit so you can see what it turned out looking like. Look at that. That is what it looks like when you add color. But what do you think I need to do to make it all red? Yes, I need to stir it. So get my spoon again. Stir, 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 stir my red paint. It is turning into red paint. Do you see? You can see the color. It's turning into red. Almost a pinkish red. It's a light red color. And you can make yours darker if you want. Okay, what's my next color? Let's see what I have in here. I don't have five colors, I only have four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll put seven in there. And stir, stir, stir again. Ooh, it's turning green. Look at my green paint. I can't wait to make a picture with this. Okay, and I'm gonna do blue. Go put it in this one. One, two, three, four, five. Do you see how I'm squeezing? I'm squeezing it to get it to come out. Six, seven. All right, stir, stir, stir. My white colored paint is now turning blue. I love this. Here's my blue. Can you see it? Blue paint. Stir, stir, stir. All right, I'm going to do one more color. I will do yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I squeezed it eight times to make my yellow paint. Got to stir. Stir, 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 see what it turns out like. Can you see the yellow starting to come? It's hard to, I don't want to tip it too much because I don't want to get out of, there we go, yellow. Can you see the yellow? Oh, it's beautiful. Are these some colors that we saw outside? Did we see red or pink? Did we see green? We saw a lot of green outside, didn't we? Did we see blue? Might have been some blue flowers and did we see yellow remember the yellow flowers that were in the yard we saw yellow okay next thing we're gonna do is paint a picture with our fingers how fun okay friends all of my paints are in front of me I'm ready to dip my fingers and paint a picture I'm gonna paint I'm gonna try and paint what I saw outside I have a white piece of paper in front of me I'm gonna dip my finger in the blue to start. What's blue that's outside? Think about what blue you see, especially on a nice day. What do you see? Do you see the sky? The sky is blue. Let me see if this works. Oh, oh my gosh. I wanna show you. Dipping my finger and then painting the sky. 
gonna use more than one finger. I'm gonna use almost my hand, full hand to make that. That is the sky. Now, what I hadn't thought about is probably need another bowl that has water in it so you can rinse your hands off. So I got a bowl of water to rinse my hands off and I got a towel to dry my hands. So far I have, this is my sky. Oh, what else should I put in my picture? What else did we see outside? Do we see a lot of grass? We saw a lot of grass. I'm gonna put some grass in my picture. Get my fingers in that paint. And the more you stir it, I've noticed the thicker it gets. So you can stir it with your fingers. I'm gonna make some grass down at the bottom. I'm just using my finger and I'm just putting some paint on the bottom to make it into grass. And you can, with your fingers, you can dab the paint on or you can rub the paint on. There's my grass. Okay, what else did we see out there? Hmm, gotta rinse my fingers off again. What else did we see out there? Hmm? Did we see, we saw some flowers. I think I'll put flowers in my picture. So, first of all, I'm gonna make a green stem for my flower. It's coming right out of the grass. But you know what? Your picture is probably gonna be different from Miss Phil's because everybody makes their own. I'm gonna make yellow for my flower. So I'm stirring my yellow because once it sits, I've noticed that it kind of gets thick. So, okay, so now I'm gonna make my flower. I'm gonna put a circle should I have different colors on my flower or just yellow? What do you think? I'm gonna do yellow all the way around for this one. And I'm just tapping. You can do however you want your flower to look. Here's Miss Phil's flower. So now I have the sky, I have grass, I have a flower. You know what, I probably need to put a little more green on my flower down where the petal goes there we go oh this is so fun you guys are going to have so much fun with this um what else did we see out there i'm going to do one more flower i did see a big tree maybe i'll draw the big tree i'm going to try that so i'm going to draw the bottom of the tree do you remember what colors we saw on that tree that I had out there? I think it was pink. So I'm gonna use this pinkish red color that I made. See my fingers? It's so fun to do it with your fingers. And I'm gonna just make dots for this because it kind of looked like that outside. Dot, dot, dot. This will be my tree. I'm having so much fun doing this. There's my tree. Oh, but look what's happening to my tree paint. It's dripping. So you probably want to leave your picture down <laughs> until you're all done. All right, does that look like fun? If you've already made your paint, paint a wonderful picture if you did it with me. If not, you can follow the directions and make your own paint now. Have fun.